Hey, what is up, guys? Time for the second nonfiction review of the channel. You ready? So this one's going to be pretty short. Um, at least I'm thinking it's going to be. I don't know. We'll see where this goes. But uh, I read this book. I I've made no secret of the fact that I'm not exactly the most talented where interacting with the opposite sex is, right? So I decided to read a book on it. Except I consumed it as an audiobook because I had a bunch of driving to do at the time. So kill me. <laughs> but I decided to check out this book called 3% Man by a relationship coach by the name of Corey Wayne. He's here on YouTube. You can look him up. Um, spoiler alert, I think he's a fairly good personality to listen to. So in this book, he talks about some principles that you can use to find the woman you want, have relationship success, and not be in the dating market getting getting hurt over and over and over again with, with no purpose and no success in what you're looking for. He lays out some pretty solid principles of behavior in terms of how you go about dating and, and gives some fairly decent explanations of why he's come to these realizations. And he gives examples from his own life in excess so overall and this is why it's going to be a short review because i'm just giving it all up front because it's non-fiction and i can't do my my typical style of review breakdown but overall i think it's a good book however i do want to talk about the places where i really really think he could improve and if i were him and I saw this review, I would rewrite the book after this. So, there is a lot of repeating oneself. There is a lot of personal stories where there didn't need to be one to illustrate a point. There is a lot of recall to the personal stories over and over and over again. And because of how it's written, the entire thing could be probably half as long and it would have all the exact same information because there's so much wordiness and so many places where there's a better way to articulate the exact same thing. Um, it's very clear that Coach Corey is not a writer as his primary skill set. And nothing wrong with that. I'm not, this isn't, no, I'm not picking on him. I'm just communicating that, you know, because we have to be honest when we're reviewing things, I think it could be written much better. The book, serving in its function of being a dating and relationship advice book, it's a good book. Um, I would encourage men to check it out and, and, and engage with at least, at least a good chunk of the principles and advice in there. You know, he, he says... Treat your partner with respect. He gives long-term relationship advice. You know, gives advice on how to communicate properly. Tells people, treat your partner with love and respect and dignity. All good things. And actually gives you tips on how to treat yourself with respect and dignity when you're out in the dating pool and trying to find what you want. He gives you tips on how to find what you want. So again, all that's good stuff. And I support his message on a lot of it. A lot of it is so poorly communicated he, he says something in the book. He says, you need to read this book seven or eight times to get everything that I'm trying to tell you. And, sir, that would not be the case if you communicated it more effectively. <laughs> I agree with you. Someone, the average person probably would need to read this book six or seven or eight times or more to get all the things really to really see what you're saying. But if you were a better communicator, that wouldn't be, that wouldn't be the case. So you might want to, like work with a good ghostwriter to have this thing again chopped in half um take a take a few writing classes and then rewrite it yourself something because it's twice as long as it needs to be at least <laughs> i do want to say as a you know just covering my own ass kind of thing there are some things in the book that i didn't necessarily agree with and there's even some like I would I would kind of classif classify it as like locker room talk types type stuff 
that I thought was crass and crude and I did not necessarily agree with or even really appreciate when we're trying to have a discussion of, of how to go about successfully dating. It felt like it was out of place and, and its presence in the book detracted from the message that was trying to be communicated. So that's that's one another area where the writing could be improved. Just take out anything that even you know leans towards that way make it strictly about the really solid principles and techniques that you're trying to give men because dating is suffering modern men need those things overall be, again because i'm not using my classic rating system so i'm just going to give it you know a, a star rating like you would find on goodreads overall i would give it a three and a half out of five um, again, I, there's, there's just so much extra bulk word count in here that I can't give it a better score. It, it's literally that bad. And like I said, this book is literally at least twice as long as it needs to be. And I haven't, I haven't gone through and listened to it again because it's so much longer than it needs to be. And I would like to consume it again because there's some stuff in there that I... I w would like to reflect on more, but I, I just don't think I will because I don't have the patience for that. Again, cause it's twice as long as it needs to be. <laughs> so, um, again, his name is Coach Corey Wayne. I'll link his channel. I'll link the book in the description. Check him out if you're a man who struggles with dating advice. Check him out if you're a woman who struggles to understand how men think. And I, if, I would recommend checking the book out. If you struggle with dating, it's a it's a decent read, um, and in my case, a decent listen. And I think a lot of the stuff in there will help a lot of men if they're exposed to it and really think about it and understand the principle at work behind the advice. So, there you go. Second nonfiction review of the channel, baby. <laughs> Word up. And hey, if you just so happen to be someone who's uh, here on the channel because you like books and not just like nonfiction books or you're not just looking for a review on this dating book that you thought about maybe buying and you like reading in general, then you can check out my book, The Garden of Lies. Epic fantasy, werewolves, sexy girls, magic, empires to destroy, all the good things. Be well, my friends. Welcome to Garden. Or if you're really on a budget and you don't have money to spend on anything that's like luxury, guess what? You're in luck. I'm narrating it for free here on my channel. I got a whole playlist of me reading it chapter by chapter. Come, like the videos, comment on them, leave me a review on Goodreads when I'm finished with the with the series on it. I'd really appreciate it. Alright guys, peace.